I'm gonna get started with the brows and I'm taking this dark brown eyebrow pomade by Anastasia and here's a picture of Kylie just in case you guys want to see how her brows are. They're really arched and they almost like a triangle so I'm gonna start shaping them the same way starting from the inner corners of my brows um, then creating that high arch and then bringing them down. Contouring and highlighting can drastically change your face. So next I'm taking this contour shadow with a grayer undertone and I'm just going to apply that to my eyelids and also slim my nose and shape it similar to Kylie's. Next I'm going to take this rose gold eyeshadow from my unzipped palette by Lorac and I'm just going to apply this on my eyelids because I feel like she wears a lot of neutral eyeshadows. After that, I'm going to take the darkest eyeshadow from this palette and as you guys can see, she has really big eyelids and my eyelids are super small. So I'm going to take my angle brush and just start carving out a new eyelid shape. So if you guys already have big eyelids, all you need to do is just apply a little bit of brown eyeshadow on your crease. Now I'm going to take my black gel eyeliner and in the previous picture you guys probably noticed she does a really simple winged eyeliner but I have to do mine a bit more dramatic to make my eyes look as big as hers. On my lower lash line I'm going to brush on some contour there to make my eyes look wider and also use the help of white eyeliner. Then you're going to need a black eyeshadow and outline the outer corners of your lower lash line and bam, your eyes are going to look huge. Here's another one of her selfies so you guys can see how big her eyes are and also her lashes. They're really long so I'm going to take the strip lashes which are kind of like a similar style of hers which is shorter on the front and longer in the corner which gives that really pretty cat eye look. Her lower lashes are really long too so I'm just going to let my mascara do the trick. Then to define my cheeks, I'm going to use this highlighter right above my cheekbones, on the center of my nose, add a light shimmer there, and also on my chin. And just below the highlight, I'm going to apply bronzer, and you can use a contour shadow to do this as well. Now I'm going to create the famous Kylie Jenner lips, and her lips just went from Cameron Diaz to Angelina Jolie. So it's really big now, and I'm taking this brick red lip liner and creating a really nice rounded cupid's bow, and also outlining the rest of my lips. Once you're happy with the lip shape, then fill it in with that same lip liner. And I've also noticed that her upper lip is quite upturned, so I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow on the corner of my lips. Now I'm going to use another lip liner which is a couple shades darker than the last one and I'm just going to go over the edges one more time so there's a darker color on the outside and lighter in the center which will make it look more plump and also make the lip shape more natural. To bring my mouth forward, I'm going to use a highlighter right above my lips on the sides and also on the bottom outer corners. I'm going to grab my contour brush one more time and contour above my cupid's bow to make that more prominent and also create a double chin. To copy Kylie's hair, I'll be wearing a wig because my hair is light brown and hers is jet black. So I'm putting on this short jet black wig and then adding some long extensions that are right behind me. Here's a good picture of what her hair looks like right now. So she's got that short hair, which is her real hair, and then the longer ones that are extensions. So I'm taking this curl jam styling set by Numi, which comes with three curlers and one straightener. And I'm going to use the straightener because I feel like she has straight hair more than curly. So um, I'm going to take my extensions and first, before I straighten them, of course, I'm going to have to use a heat protectant. In my case, I'm using this white truffle primer which is actually by Numi again. I prefer straightening my extensions before I put it on my head, but curling it is a different story because you're not tugging it as much. So I'm just going to clamp my straightening iron and pull it till all the hair is nice and straight. I'm going to straighten the rest the same way. Also, if you've noticed, the hair looks really shiny, pin straight and frizz free. It's because of the straightener. This is a really great straightener. So if you guys are looking for a great straightener or styling tools, I've got a code for you guys. It's Kylerific. And if you guys use this code, you can get 40% off of the entire Numi website. My extensions are ready, so I'm going to section up my hair. I always start by applying extensions from the lower part of my head and then work up. 
If you guys forgot, I'm actually clipping these extensions to my wig, not my hair. So it's a bit trickier, but it can be done. Last but not least, her teal ombre hair that she's known for, I have to do it. So I'm going to take this temporary metallic teal hair color that I got from Walgreens and I'm just going to spray it all over the tips of my extensions. That's how you can look like Kylie Jenner. Also, don't forget to pout and take like a million selfies. Um, happy New Year's, you guys. And I'll catch you guys very soon in my Disney Mulan video.